hello friends hope you are doing good welcome to your own youtube channel achievers data engineering if you are watching this video for the first time please hit like and subscribe for the continuous update and to get the latest videos that i upload from this video onwards i'm going to uh, prepare a playlist on learning on azure data factory we will go through step by step learning like what is azure data factory how to provision what are the key terminologies should you know and how to create pipelines data set and we'll go into advanced details of azure data factory so it, it is going to be an interesting journey of entire playlist of azure data factory so please continue watching so uh, this is part one of azure data learning azure data factory learning let's get started with it so what is azure data factory so uh, i hope if you are like looking at this video you might be working in the data engineering uh, career or you have worked on like ssis in the past or you are trying to learn azure data factory then you must know what it is so azure data factory is nothing but a cloud based etl solution so when I'm saying ETL, it's extract, transform, and load. So with help of Azure Data Factory, you can create cloud-based ETL solutions and data integration. So this service allows you to create a data-driven workflow for orchestrating data movement and transforming data at scale. So this word is really important over here. So when you are talking about scaling so for example when we used to work on on-prem ssis then we had limited capabilities we had to you know wait for a running of a solution for hours maybe if it is like there is a huge amount of data but when we are talking about the cloud solutions azure data factory then it is based on its inbuilt capabilities Azure can provide a scale in and scale out the compute resources so that they can finish whatever job is running as quickly as possible with get greater efficiency. Now, Azure Data Factory is an ETL and analytics you know, uh, services which is given by Azure. So using Azure Data Factory, you can create and schedule data-driven workflows, which is called pipelines that can ingest data from disparate data sources so what it is saying uh, with help of azure data factory we can create some workflows for example we have a number of data sources from where we want to ingest data and store it somewhere maybe in our data warehouse maybe it is in sql server maybe we want to go into azure synapse and uh, we want to do further analysis on it or maybe we want to transform data whatever we have ingested so we can put together all those activities and that process in Azure Data Factory. Now, if you are not aware what is pipeline and activities, then don't worry. We are going to cover them in great details in our upcoming videos. So here, you what you need to know that we can come up with a data flow process from using which we can ingest data from n number of sources. So uh, Data Factory supports uh, close to 90 plus connectors so we can connect and uh, fetch data from 90 plus data sources and finally we can transform and analyze it we can build this complex etl process that transform data visually with data flows by using compute services such as azure hd insight hadoop azure data break and azure sql databases so as i said it's like we can build complex ETL solutions and without using any code. It's completely a drag and drop options in Azure Data Factory that we can go ahead and create. So what are the capabilities and what are the properties I would say of Azure Data Factory? So as I said, it's a no code or maintenance required to build hybrid ETL or ELT pipelines with Data Factory. Now, what's the difference between ELT and ETL we will cover in the great details but as of now you must know that ETL means extract transform load and ELT means extract load and transform so what are the benefits and like drawbacks we will cover in a different details in a in a different video with great details so what we are talking about here is 
with Azure Data Factory, if you don't have any coding knowledge, like if you don't know good Python or you don't know, you know, Apache Spark queries, then definitely don't, you know, no need to worry. You can go ahead and utilize and work on Azure Data Factory with its drag and drop features. It is really cost efficient considering uh, the serverless cloud data integration. So considering the options that you are getting, the features that it has, it's really cost efficient. The third is Azure security measures to connect on-prem cloud-based software as a service apps with peace of mind. So definitely it's a peace of mind. You can connect with a number of sources, even with on-premises data sources. Further, SSIS integration runtime to easily rehost on-premises SSIS package. So in past, if you have created any SSIS package on your on-prem, maybe it is running on your machine, on any other server, in any on-prem server, then Azure Data Factory gives an option where you can lift and shift your existing SSIS packages and deploy them on cloud. So your existing package can be lifted and shifted on the cloud and it can run successful over there. Or if you are working on any SSIS package right now or on your on-prem, then you can deploy it on Azure Data Factory. So like you are working on your, in your machine on on-prem uh, softwares and when it comes to deployment, you can deploy it on your Azure using Azure tools. So Another one is visually integrated data source using more than 19 native built-in maintenance free connectors. So as I said, so you can connect with a number of sources like 90 plus native built-in maintenance free connectors and you can fetch data and ingest data from there. So it's really peace of mind. You, we just need to focus on our data because it's a serverless integration service. There is no need or there is no worry to acquire like multiple servers, maybe, you know, to go and change the server settings anytime. So it's everything is scalable. Azure Data Factory can scale in and scale out based on the needs. So how does it work all together? So as I said, it's kind of a workflow in which this complete Azure Data Factory works. So starting with data sources. So for example, we have a number of data sources. Maybe if you talk about we are having SQL where we are residing our data and we want to do some analysis and publish it and then we use it. We want to use it further in our Power BI reports. So what's the process? We can ingest that data using its inbuilt connectors or if you are working on the cloud, maybe we can store it on uh, maybe Azure blob storage or maybe we can create a, you know, another database on Azure itself. Now, during this ingestion process, we can use multiple activities and we can prepare data accordingly. Like we can bring only required data set. Furthermore, we can transform it. So maybe we need to some, we need to make some changes in the data, how it is like connected with each tables we need to modify add or remove a couple of columns so everything can be done in this and it will be done in a kind of a process flow step by step and once it is all done we can go ahead and publish it in azure data factory once it is published we can utilize that data for further consumptions in power bi reports or maybe in another bi reporting tool or for any other purpose like based on the project requirement so this entire workflow is called pipeline so like starting with the data ingestion creating linked services creating data sets ingesting transforming and publishing now, don't worry if you don't know as of now what is data set and linked services and pipelines. We are going to cover that in great details in our upcoming videos. So as of now, what you should be aware, like how, what is Azure Data Factory, which kind of service it is and how does it work? Hope it has given you some brief introduction about Azure Data Factory. And uh, if you have any further questions, please do let me know. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you are watching this for the first time, I would request you please hit like and the subscribe button for getting continuous update on any new videos that I will post going forward. Thank you so much for your time. Keep learning.